back to the middle. It's dampened, though, as though there were walls between you and the central point. You catch one vibration right above you, claws scraping against the stone. Rose freezes in terror. She's like a tree in the winter, dead. No leaves to blow in the wind, no branches shaking, no heartbeat, no breath. Rose remembers the ancient druids who go dormant in old age, perfectly still, part of the grove itself. In this moment, she became part of the cave, or at least she hoped to. She rolled 17 in the skies. Um, you feel the vibrations and hear the loud screech of the creature before it jumps down, snatching something near you. You heard the squelching of it as it takes the flesh and then the vibrations of the claws scraping the rocks move away from you and towards the nearest tunnel before. Um, sorry, let me actually just copy this all into a Word document. Because I'm super duper struggling right now. Oh my god, this is so long. Oh no. I'm having a hard time doing this. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Give me a sec. It's very hard to read this and like actively type in this at the same time. But I'm trying. Unfortunately, Part of the best part of this entire thing was the memes, and I don't think I can really show you the memes. Because there is a lot of meta in the channel, and I don't want to, um... Get any of that. Okay, I need... Word. Google Doc. New. Paste. Absolutely crashing Google Doc. Immediately. Okay, cool. Um, it's so many pages, but that's okay. That's fine. Um... One second. Alright, I have it, so I should be able to... Oh my god, I pasted it inverted. That's crazy. Oh my god, this is horrid. Maybe. Nope, I didn't copy it. I'm so sorry. This is such a pain in the ass.
think I got it, okay. No, it just doesn't want to copy. Okay, I guess I literally have to read it in here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, it was super, super easy to break into the houses, but that's a huge gate. And you're... Is anybody there, or are they just fucking... You're just trapped. Um... In the cave where you are. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I found it again. Um. Um, Rose freezes in terror. Um, you feel the vibrations and hear the loud screech of the creatures before it jumps down and grabs something. As the vibrations fade away, Rose slowly slides her hand along the floor where it meets the right wall. Always on the right, she tried to slink along the floor, moving slowly. Um, you come across one of many tunnels they used to travel through. It's a tight fit, but you can maneuver to fit your way, or you can keep going through the passage. Rose shivers as her hand slides over the tunnel. She recalls cracking sounds of bones and the terrifying feeling of the first dive here. Falling behind the rocks, being trapped before her sister Venus pulled her free. No, not the tunnel. Always on the right. She crawled forward, hoping desperately the floor would start to slope up where the entrance might be. Um, she... Um... You keep moving towards the right, feeling the endless amount of bones, countless victims, innumerable by the f simple fact that it's impossible to know which one, where one ends and the next begins. Similar fate awaits you if you continue on, keeping to the right. This is where you come to a fork, a path to the left, a path to the right, before headed right, then again right. You find yourself in what appears to be a dead end. Once more, there is another tunnel, or you can reverse and try your another path. seconds. Um, Rose shivers again as her hand slides over the hidden hide behind tunnels. Rose slides along past it, turning back. Hand on the right side, she doubles back looking for the next turn, listening and skittering. You come to a fork and head towards the right again, and then again, and the path seems longer until you come to a stop, feeling around it's a dead end. Sorrow floods Rose, thinking of how far back since she'd found a slit. She digs her hand into the crack again, looking for the narrow ascending tunnel that ends outside Driftwood. She reaches with her earth magic for a path through the stones. There are many tunnels, all leading to one another. It's unclear what direction they go. They feel vibrations near you similar to the claws scraping stone. It's difficult to pinpoint them and determine how close they are to you, but they are close. With no clear path forward, Rose keeps inching along the wall. I am a worm, crawling through the dirt, Rose thinks bitterly. I am a maggot in the corpse. Maybe I will crawl my way out, she thinks. Her thoughts sink to the comparison of the hide behind stealing her face, just like she stole the corpse. Her corpse. Maggot. Uh, 
Um, she still ro she still crawls along with the hand on the right hand wall. You manage to catch yourself on the wall, even with minimal effort. Whatever, um, you make your way over some rocks and feel around. As you do, something catches your foot. Um, you manage to catch yourself on the wall, but even with minimal effort, whatever tripped you was solid, almost like a log. And then Rose rolled a crit fail and didn't notice it was bark she tripped over. Um, because she's a fucking blind little flower right now. Um, didn't seem like anything more than one of the many rocks and debris that scattered around the maze littered over bodies, butts, guts, and bones. You can turn back or keep traversing along the path. Bark tries to grab blind Rose and Rose worms away. Um... Rose carries on, inching along the wall, always thinking, I much prefer being grass than a parasite. Um, you try along the pathway. It seems endless until you finally hit a wall and turn. You don't hear anything until a voice sounds out, Sister! It sounds like Bart calling out to you. Um, uh, Rose shivers, inches... Inches along, tears seeping from her empty eyes. It's not real. It's not real. You hear, she hears a voice call out. What if it was me inside? And then Leo's voice saying, I wouldn't care. Pieces gathered from your conversation outside the cave. Rose crouches down, making herself very small as she does when she is scared or embarrassed. She buries her head in her arms, attempting to suppress a sob at Lo Leo's cru cruel words. You hear the creature screech, and they feel and hear the thud of the feet hitting the stone floor. There's a squelch from the flesh that covers it. Something wet hits your arm as it lands. It charges and reaches for you, its claws digging into your flesh. She says, do you try to fight? Rose tries to free herself from the creature. A scream escapes her. Um, um, You manage to fight your way free of the creature's grasp, but you know you won't be able to escape them for long. They are fast, they can see, they know these systems. How long can you fight them off in the claws and claw your way, or just to wish the claw into your flesh? What do you do now? Rose panics, gets free, and sprints away sobbing. There is then a gif of like a crying, <laughs> groaning woman. Um, <laughs> um, no! No, 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 no. Oh, no. It, it jumps where I was. Okay. Um, surprisingly, <laughs> screaming, crying, and being blind makes it pretty hard to escape. It doesn't take long until you feel the familiar claws digging into your flesh as it grabs into you. You can try again to fight it off or let it, or let go and let whatever comes be. Give in and perhaps you'll get another moment of respite once it's bored with its torment. Um... I just wanted to help you, Rose screamed. Between the sobs of the creature, she struggles to break free of his grip. I just wanted to help! Well, a familiar voice calls out, that of Jane. Help me, please! I don't, please, don't leave me here! As it grabs you and begins to pull you into a tunnel. As you're dragged closer to the tunnel, the creature screeches and repeats its own word, your own words. I just wanted to help you! Rose screams in fear and frustration. We've stolen faces too! Fed the mother flesh! Please, I'm not your enemy! You don't have to be monsters! She pulls against the monster's grip. Um, you hear your own voice. When we get out, we will have a party. We'll drink and celebrate. Just as you're about to get dragged once more into the tunnel, you manage to free yourself from the grasp, even if it's just for a moment. It gives you time to act again. Um, once more, you try and escape, tripping over the rocks and the debris under your face. You snatch once more and take it into the tunnel. R roll athletics and a chance to get back where you were. We'll try again in an hour. Um, she rolled a three, and then she gets dragged off into a dark tunnel. Uh, 
You are dragged into the tunnel, your body forcefully pulled in. Your limbs and head bump against the tunnel as you're dragged through. Roll for four if you see to save your wake. You manage to stay awake as you are dragged, but your body is sore. You drop another, onto another pile of debris and bodies. You hear the creature call out, You don't have to be monsters! Before it screeches and leaves. You can try again in an hour. Um, then there's Nemi and Bark. Bark is actually currently fighting. I'm actually in the middle of another one. Um... Um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on at the moment. Um, I don't know what's going on with Bark either. It's wild and terrifying to read Bark's thing. <sighs> I need to run to the bathroom. And I will maybe catch up on a little bit more sizzle. I didn't mean to ditch, it's just, I, I actually can't be involved in the cave stuff. Oh, it's because it's alt characters trying to save mains, and that's just not okay, so. Blind throws, just fucking around, trying to find out, definitely not finding out. Not succeeding in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that was what I was gonna do. But I wasn't gonna do that on stream, but I had to start streaming very early because somebody, um, somebody wanted the roleplay sizzle breaking into their shit, which is totally fair, it was fun. Um. Um, I, I have to, like, go step, I, like, I can't be in those stories, so I'm gonna go to the capital <gasps> instead, oh. just cause, like, I know they're over there, I know they're doing that roleplay, but I can't be in it, so. I don't think it is, I genuinely don't think it is, because at the end of the day, there's still probably going to be a rescue attempt, right? And, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm listening as ro Bark is just fucking... So, the other two stories, which I at some point I would like to trim these out and, like, turn them into fucking actual stories. I'd like to keep them, because they're really good when the ticket's done. Um, so far, there's been four stories. Rose is first, um, then Nemi's. Um, do you want me to read your sissy? I don't know if I will be able to... I can try and barks and then rose's second attempt i read the first attempt sissy's attempt was a completely different story style i just realized rose can't even determine how many directions there are
Like, she can't even determine if the path splits. Like, she can literally just know if it, it doubles back. Because all she's got is a hand. She's she's running or she's walking or inching or whatever with her hand on the wall. So she doesn't get this choice. She just keeps going. She can she can choose forward or back. some banging. That's kind of weird. I don't know, man. Oh. Yes. Oh. And then, from my understanding, you know, the actual fighting that actually happened in the narrow corridors was just, you know, horrific. Absolute clusterfuck. Yes. Oh, can't be lured out. You have to go in. And it's a very small area that you have to be in, and it's clusterfuck with a lot taller people are hard to get in, and a narrow path, and you're going into the belly of the beast. That sounds like a recipe for complete disaster. Exactly. Cicacia told me that someone, that she heard an idea that people should use invisibility potions to sneak in, and I think that's the best possible plan for rescue. Uh, Rather than trying to fight long? those things, to sneak in there, grab them, and get out. But do you know how? I mean, we don't really. Do we know exactly what they are yet? Because I mean, unless I guess we we have a body of something, then um, if how efficient they are at what is it? Sensing things and I mean, it's their home, you know. Things detect that kind of stuff. Uh, from my understanding, um, everybody was saying that it was an actual Wendigo. Hmm. Though someone else told me they thought there was a skinwalker still. <laughs> but I don't know anything about these things. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> right. Someone left a note in the library trying to get in contact with the librarian about possible. Um, the hell is that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I hello, sir, at the door. Uh, uh, trying to figure out what these creatures are. They were asking about, I bo believe, both skinwalkers and books on Windigos. But unfortunately, I'm the only one who really works there right now, and I don't know where that shit is. It's in this forbidden area that a councilman would have to open the doors for that. And um, I don't know. The current librarian's not around to be able to give access to those books, if they're even there. I'm not really sure. I mean, uh, you know, Lady uh, Salvia uh, did give us, uh, you know, kind of like a rough rundown. If like, if it is a Wendigo, you know, they're afraid of this. They can get harmed by this. If it's a Skinwalker, you know, that can actually transform. You know, but Wendigos can only mimic voices. They can't actually change their uh, way of looking. So I don't know. I mean, as far as for the invisibility patients, that, that's an interesting idea there. Not mine, I like I said. I think it was Circassius. Oh, I'm saying her name wrong. Cece. A bad, terrible name. Oh. It might see her. Yes, yours. Ah. I was gonna say, I don't think I've met the Circassia before. <laughs> <laughs> My entire name. 
it's perfectly fine. Like, I always call you Mule, but I know that's not actually Mule, because when I write say Mule, I think of, like, a donkey. No, it's Mule. Mule, okay. God, nothing Mule. Mule. Me... I've become used to it. They call you what? Mule, like a donkey. No. Mule. Correct them every time. Absolutely <laughs> not. I mean, kind of like, you know, the reason why that, that uh, you know, Shellback uh, person named Kaz calls me, you know, the fresh maker is because he calls me Zen or, uh, you know, Zentos, which apparently, uh, there's another name that was like, you know, fresh in the breath. <laughs> Mentos? And yes, and it's actually Zentos, you know, it's Zen Instead of a Zentos, but you know, I answer to it, so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Sorry, but, I was still mentally know, thinking about the breath fresh. Yes, that's why he calls me, you know, you know, the fresh maker. So, yeah, anyway. I like it. Unique. <clears throat> Maybe I should get like roll in like some like you know minty leaves or something. So I am actually the fresh maker. I'm fresh in the air. I will find you mint leaves to have rolled yourself in. I will help with this. If this is what you want to do. Excellent, excellent. But, but hopefully they do use their eyes and not some kind of echolocation or something. Yeah. I mean, if they're looking for. Do we even have... Who can make... What, mm, yeah, oh, I don't know if I can make those with my alchemist at this point. Is it possible alchemist? I mean, that might be a uh, maybe a question for, like, you know, ladies of age, perhaps. It's true. Trying to message the guy who plays Forrester, but I don't know who he is. Jen, is maybe this guy? Um, yeah, I know, I can't find him on Discord to message him, because they went to go do cave stuff, and I was like, I'm not gonna go over there. Um, I can't. So, I, I, I can't find him, so. Yeah, yeah, because I was gonna message him and be like, I'm sorry! Yosh. Yeah, no. I'm not finding any of these. Oh my god. There he is. I just can't spell. Alright, that's that's horrendous.
Um, you can. I don't know, man. I mean, you can roleplay Venus. You know, if all the children die, it's definitely for the last time. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can see that. Oh, what are you worrying about? He was mimicking you. Oh. It was. It was very cute. I don't like it. No. And he's in my fucking ear. Fucking, oh my god. This is, this is so tense right now, just the text RP, because it's like, oh my god, can I live read these, Arrow? Because they're really good. I don't know if that's okay or not. Okay, because I, I want to go back to when the bark cacophony started and just, like, read this, because it's trying to keep up with it while... <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to catch up with it, and then I need to find a place to, like, stick Sizzle somewhere, and she's just gonna fish, or whatever. Um, wherever Bark, or Krug is, I love the fact that Sizzle got gang pressed. She's like, I wanna be a guard! I don't wanna be a guard, I just don't wanna die. <laughs> Give me one sec, I'm gonna go stick Sizzle on the docks, and hopefully everybody ignores her. I'm just gonna put like a loss in thought and hopefully it's just uh leave me alone. I 
Actually, this one doesn't work. This one works. It the fucking. Ah, he must be of the clan of Stick. Clan of Stick? Nah, she's a baby. I would be the leader of the clan. <laughs> well. Hmm. Oh, so you're you're the overlord who lives in the <laughs> South Island. <laughs> no. Goblins aren't overlords. That's dumb. Okay. <laughs> I'm Sizzlebites the Innocent. The what? Innocent, huh? Reminds me of someone I know. No, I just thought I don't run into innocent people that often, but uh, no, good no, to no, meet no. you. You misunderstand. Sizzle bites the innocent. Get that shit straight. Uh, I think that's more fitting. I see. Yeah. But what if someone interprets it as uh, last name, the innocent, first name, <laughs> that's Sizzle That's their own doing. <laughs> no, the overlord, my yeah, overlord got changed today. Dumb. Some Lord Tree Man or whatever. How does your hierarchy how does your hierarchy work? Uh well I got thrown in jail and then I convinced them that I would make an excellent guard and they said that only if I like made bombs, but then I said I would only work for an overlord and I would only like uh, he had to beat me in one on one combat. Barely. Barely. But you know, it's fine. So you make bombs then? I am an excellent siege crafter. Although currently oh. I have no workshop, so that kind of kind of puts a damper on it. Why? Oh, if I run low, I'll, I'll probably buy from you. Eh, assuming I could get a hold of a workshop, supposedly Lord Tree Man or whatever, Forest Forester Fifa, is like, uh, got a place. But he left me in the woods somewhere, so. I don't know if he really wanted that. Or, you know, whatever. What do you think of the new guard, Annalise? <sighs> she seems fierce. Heck yeah, this one's smart. Which is weird for, like, angels and shit. <laughs> Are most angels not smart? No, they're dumb as fuck. I'm glad I'm not an angel then. <laughs> yeah, always, like, running in and being, like, righteous and, like, fearless. They always end up dead. It's kind of funny. <laughs> well, I have ended up dead before. But I'm still here, so. That's crazy. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know. It says you're not stupid because you're still alive. Huh. This fishing oh, pool is way too big. What'd you get thrown in jail for? Uh, they accused me of like breaking into some barracks or something, which was totally not the case. I mean, the bloody footprint on the door was totally not me. I just woke up in there with like a big old tin can with a sword in my face yelling at me about something and then he took my bombs and I was not happy about that but it's fine I'll just get more well if you're a guard of Driftwood Port um, what? I no! Bring... I got thrown in jail here too wait you're not a guard you're not a guard for, for this? no um, hell no establishment? I got thrown in jail here first because one of the guards here attacked me, and I defended myself! <laughs> so you're a guard for your little goblin, uh... Encounter. Yeah, some, like, yeah. Lord Foresty fuck. Okay, so you're at the keep, probably. Ooh, Dude, dump me in a woods. Is it... Is it a keep? I don't know, we never got uh, there! He left me in the woods! <laughs> so he just hired you and left you in the woods? I of hired is the right word. More like gang pressed at like sword point. Sounds like Lord Forrester. Well, it was really the tin so can who did that, not not Lord Foresty. Well, 
Well. Welcome to Driftwood Port. Yeah, I just wanted to fish, man. I just, I, I wasn't bothering nobody. I was just gonna sit down and fish and like, think about all the horrible things in the world that I love and they're amazing. I love horror stories, man. Visceral and guts and death and all that stuff. Well, I want to know the story of those sunken ships out there. I'm sure they had a very untimely demise. I'm going to go with it was a dumb pirate. It's very common. Pirates are very dumb. They all die. I'm sorry. The wind took took your voice from me. What did you say? Pirates are dumb because they all end up dead. Very common. Do that. Is that all that the pirates empirical? I know? Yeah, I mean, I had a really good. Well, I guess I don't know. Were we friends? I don't know. He let me bite him, and I was really down with that. And then he ended up dead, and I never saw him again. So he was really stupid. Was the biting and his death in any way related? Nah. All right. I was not involved in his death. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go have a drink. Bye, weird people. Yeah, I suppose I will join him. It was nice to meet you. Um, Sizzle Bites? Sizzle Bites? The Innocent? Is that your name? Nice something, to meet you, people who didn't give me your names. Something, something, The Innocent. Uh, I don't remember where her name Sizzle Bites. My name is Annalise. <laughs> yeah. My Annalise, the not dead it? angel. And Korgra. Yeah. Korgoth, the, uh... Uh, the dude. The dude. <laughs> sure. I've never worked at a ranch, though. But <laughs> okay, maybe, bye! Uh, maybe the, maybe the future. Why can't I? Why can't this? <gasps> why? I'm glad to see you up and about. Okay, cool. Alright. We'll go back down to the bottom. I'm trying to take it easy. Um. I'm not Wait, wait, what was my... Do you continue forward or do you stop? You have the sound of the path. Um, all right, I'm going to find this and catch up on the read. Where is Raptor start? Okay. Bark opens his eyes, feeling a breath of air come back into him. Forcing him to sit up quickly in the dreams, forcing him awake. Bark, still alive, he said calmly to himself. Your leg is broken, you feel your body is sore. If you try to escape, let me know. Um, Bart would look at his foot with minimal lighting of the mother's glow in his chest. The flesh exposed would look, make it a little better, though he would still not be able to do this easily he didn't know if his sisters were still there he would like to explore with the intention of finding his sisters you will go into the winding path and hit a dead end all right roll fort um then i'm gonna actually just read all of this because nemi's was going to at the same time nemi determined and blood trailing from her missing limbs runs back and quickly back to the fork disoriented and, she uh, we have the path, somebody in back bar in there the right if, uh, if all else does fail with the uh, finding the six we'll be trying to get lucky um you can do or you remember your mom. You just, um, the next path she didn't take or the furthest path. Uh, you struggle to lift yourself up being here. It takes a toll on you. It's been a few moments before you can stand properly. You need to lean against the wall to try and find your way out. Mm. Bark would push himself up against the wall, taking a step after step. Looking ahead of him, he would hobble. Oh, hope it hobble.